For the last four years, all roads have led towards rugby's biggest showpiece. All that remains now is for fine tuning before England's step onto the main stage. Welcome to O2 Inside Line. It's been a lot of waiting, but we're almost ready to go. What is the buzz like in camp? It's been a couple of hours to go until it all gets underway. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think um, you know, we've been building up for a long time and you know, forget the pre-season and those conditioning sessions. It's about you know, doing what we've practiced and getting into it now, we can't wait. Hello, you keep, you keep the excitement levels on the down though, don't you? Never, never going to jump Chilled around with, oh. with joy. Friday night, what do you think are the key pillars for success? Set piece we're going to have to get right first and foremost, hopefully. Um, we can get some ascendancy up front. Jeff's been into from the line out, so I'm sure it'll be immaculate. But at all bits of our game, we're going to have to be good. We know they're a good team. Um, and if we give them turnover ball and they lose play, then they're going to punish us. So. Um, Keep all the balls as well as we can, and if we are going to give it away, um, keep your wise then make sure it's good. Okay, we've had lots of fan questions in using hashtag Where the Rose. The groundswell of support is building. First question for you, Jeff, uh, from James Tyndall. Who in the forwards has the highest work rate? I know you're going to say your good self. No, you can never do that. Um, I don't know. We, uh, I think every week we look at guys that are getting off the floor the quickest, and you know that. I think as a as a forwards pack, we always want to work hard. But um, Chris Robshaw normally leads by example. To be fair, Very good um, he's normally up there, and yeah, the skips skips as well. Uh, from Kirby Payne, what do you say to people who've never played rugby? What a name Why that is, by the way, Kirby, Kirby Payne. Payne. No relation. If you're wondering, it was a very good shot. Uh, yeah. Enough. What do you say to people who've never played rugby, and why do you love it? Someone who's never played rugby, I'd say make sure you get watching. Hopefully, get um, inspired to uh, get down your local rugby club and, and pick up a ball. I think it's um, a brilliant game. You meet. Uh, brilliant people when you're down the rugby club, whatever level you're playing. Thanks, mate. First time being at Twickenham was on my 18th birthday. I got four tickets to go. Uh, it was England v South Africa, and we were sat kind of right at the top. And it was just, it was a great atmosphere being there, being in the stadium, and being part of it. The waiting is almost over. The moment has come for all fans, old and new, to wear the rose in support of England on Friday night. It's showtime. <laughs>